Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your man, Kilogram. We are back. Long awaited. We've been going for about what? Two months? Feel like forever. Feel like forever. But it was Ramadan, so that's the excuse. The brother had to okay. get right with my God, Allah, Allah who okay. Akbar. I, I you know that? It. So at the end of the day, we are not supposed to be doing music, a lot of other things. That's considered haram. But we're back with the podcast. I missed you, Juicy. I'm going to say it on here. You better not lie. I missed you. How you feeling? <laughs> now everybody going to be mad because you missed me. But I miss you too. <laughs> All right, I like how she did. She looked the fake. I miss you too. Whatever, nigga. Yo, we have a dope co-host today. My man, uh, we go way back, like four flats on the she Cadillac. Name right. My man, Devon Green Gardner. <laughs> right? <laughs> Not his first name. It's, it's, it's Gardner, right? Say your name right. You don't have to say my full name. Right. Okay, He's all right. Talking so about the first name. Who you is, brother? It's Devon. I also go by the name Swag because I do Swag? like comedy. Okay, all right, yeah. That, Swag. That's dope. So, so when I first met you. Like at camp, we worked at what was it called? CFG, right? Yeah, CFG. I I knew instantly. I said, "Yo, this dude is a comedian, naturally <laughs> funny, <laughs> naturally funny." Don't I'm start. See, we worked at three to eleven. Oh shit, yeah, we just joking the whole time. And we joking the whole time. If he wasn't there, I really felt like yo, the shift gonna be wild long. I'll so, but like I said, at pause. Yeah, no diddy. No, no diddy. diddy. Y'all killing me with this no, no diddy. 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 Y'all killing, no, 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 killing me. That was a little crazy. That was a little crazy. That long shit. But anyway, like I said, <laughs> yo, let's and I'm a on. boy. Anyway, like I said, at the end of the day, uh, you know, D asked to come on to the show. Yep. And I was like, yo, definitely. Because he's getting ready to, you know, catapult his podcast uh, journey and stuff like that. Yep. So I'm always welcoming to up and coming talent guys that want to tap in and uh, you know, invade this space right here because this is a dope, it's a dope idea. And for me, it's therapeutic. Nah, it definitely, definitely, definitely is. Podcasting is so therapeutic Gain your opinion now. Everybody got an asshole, right. right? Right. So say your opinion. Another day. Hey, no, no titty. I mean, it's no cool. Titty. Juicy Jaleen. Yo, yo. How was, how was your, your your weekend? How's your time off? What, you know? It was great, you know, uh, uh you know. My kids was off for spring break. Yeah. So I was home, not doing nothing. I uh-huh. had to go to work. You know, okay. it was great. All right. Uh, I see you got new highlights. So is that something you changing the hair? So you're going I always something? do this. It was just time to go get my hair done again. Oh, now I ain't going to lie. Hair is expensive. That's like, it is. How much that cost you? Yeah. About at least 300 right? No. It's so not less. fake hair. It's my real hair. No, it's not fake <laughs> yeah. My she bad. Com- she coming for I'm the people sorry. with the lace front. No, but I didn't no. mean. What I'm but saying I'm is- saying it don't cost as much as it costs for them to get their hair done. Okay, because I was oh, saying no. it because I remember when I see people get they hairline, they be having aluminum foil all wrapped in their yeah. hair. They had to do Surprise all that. I mean, I almost paid two hundred. Okay, so right. well, you, that's good. That's good. And she probably was in there for like eight hours. Eight that hours? was in there for a little while. Do they give you mimosa and stuff like that? Like, did no, they give you I, that's, a, that's a good idea. I should open up a salon and get mimosas okay. before I'm doing hair. But then that might not be good for the oh, yeah. person that do nah, hair. Nah, she nah, might you mess might burn shit somebody's up. ear too. Yeah, she might, like that. might. You know what I mean? So the employees can't drink with. Right. But other than that, so we ain't just gonna skip on you. We've been going for about two months. So, uh-huh. I mean, you just ain't get your hair done and chill with the kids. Is anything going on in your love life that people want to know? Oh, wouldn't y'all want to know? Okay, but cool. no, my you love know. life is basura. Okay, all right, cool. We'll get back Trash. to that. Trash. All right, my man Devon, like, how's everything going with you, man? How was your weekend? What's your, you know, what's your story? Um, weekend was straight. Okay. Um, on Sunday, we uh we lost somebody. So, we did like a balloon passing okay. at Rowan for one of our past uh, friends. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. It's definitely um, been a lot of loss. This but year. other than that, I've just been chilling and staying out the way, doing like little real skits, keep writing as far as with the comedy, right? Um, and just waiting on the next show that I do right, or go to a. So uh, you doing stand up? Yeah. Okay. Lit. I, you know what's you know what's you funny? be doing shows and stuff. I'm trying oh. to get back into it, but I've been doing you open mics. Us? Of yeah, course, I would like to come to a show and sit front row. Yeah, don't right. sit front row. <laughs> Yo, front row. <laughs> but don't roast, bro, don't roast me. Roast him. If you roast sure. people in the front Yo, row, listen, just hold him. Hold up. I remember Ezel from Friday. I went to <laughs> Delaware State, right? I went to, we was in college and we, you know, we young yeah. and we got the tickets to sit in the front. He came to our school. He did stand up, right? And he, I sat in the front. Somehow the light, this is when I had hair too. So, you know, yeah. I, I thought I had an afro at the time. He said, I thought it was taco meat. Ah. <laughs> he said, who was thinking the front with this taco meat? Right? Yo, he put the light on me. When I tell you the, 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 the whole crowd erupted. Yeah. Like, 
I said to myself, that's the last time I'm sitting in the you front. Sit in the front. <laughs> you sit like in the middle show. or maybe in the back yeah. or something. You got to look like it depends Idris on the Elba venue. if you're going to sit in the front. It depends on the venue, too. Huh? It depends on like how the venue is set up. Right. Some venues, it's Oh, like, no. We had an auditorium, and he still uh, found a light on okay. me somehow. But we was making... We was rowdy. We from Jersey. We was <laughs> making noise up front. So, naturally, he got me. But, um... But um, on the flip side, my weekend was pretty good. You know, like I told y'all before, Ramadan. Okay. Uh, it, it, I'm a lot. I can't lie to y'all. This Ramadan was the best for me. Okay. And I'm saying it. This not, was your first Ramadan. This was my though, second. Right? Oh yeah, because I okay. took my Shahada in yeah, March. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fourth last year, Ramadan started a little shortly after that. So this is my second. My first one was beautiful. This Ramadan was a little stressing for me. It wasn't more from the uh, the fasting and the mm-hmm. praying. I just think it was the people that I had in my circle just go around. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, I just think that when you do Ramadan, you got to have, to me, in my opinion, other Muslims may, may feel different, but mm-hmm. I feel like you have to have a strong foundation. Like a family bond. Family like circle. bond, you know, just a lot of stuff going on. My grandma in the hospital with dementia, a lot of stuff going on, you know, other things I don't want to talk about, yeah. but I can say that I'm grateful that I made it through. I'm grateful that, you know, I'm doing a lot that he brought me through, and I'm alive, and and uh, you know, God willing, I'll be able to see another Ramadan. Okay. But I just wanted to let the people know because everybody gets on here. Oh, it's great, it's great. Nobody tells the other side of it. Mm-hmm. You know, people go through depression during that time. You know, what I mean, you pray about it, and you know, hopefully it gets better. But I just wanted to be honest on my platform. Yep. I, you know, be up here just acting like everything is hunky dory. Yep. You know what I mean? But on the flip side, we're going to go right into it. Um, this podcast took a little minute to, to set up today, um, courtesy of my man Rick. You know, we was working out some technical difficulties, but we want to go right into it. J. Cole. J. Cole responded to a record that uh, Metro Boomin, Future, and Kendrick Lamar did. Kendrick has some not so nice things to say about J. Cole and Drake, referring to the Shot. big three. He was shooting that. He was shooting. J. Cole decides, you know, due to the pressure from the hip-hop fans, the internet, you know, probably his homies, you got to get back at him. He go in the studio, get at him, and it's a phenomenal diss. Would you agree? It's a leg shot. It was me? It's a leg shot. It's a leg shot. It's a leg shot. It? It's not crazy. Yes, I heard it. What'd you, th- what'd you think? I'm the I'm I'm a J. Cole fan, so I think he did his thing. Anything? No, no, we're not talking about how he look. No, I don't, I, like? like, I don't think J. Cole's cute. <laughs> Okay. Let's, 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 let's just get it. You've just been I blushing just, outside to some Jake on my baby. No, I didn't say he was my baby. You didn't say that? No, I you didn't. Fall out and say, no, I didn't uh, say uh, what'd that. What'd you say? Not I like J. Cole. You ain't say it like that. I you, do that love J. Cole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love J. Cole as a rapper. All right, okay. So anyway, did you like did you like the record? Or I did. No? I said okay, yes. So it was hot? You okay. try to flip it into something all right, else. All right, cool. All right. So listen, what I think was it was a phenomenal diss. Hip hop fans across the world. It's kind of, it, I would say it's 70 30. 70 saying he's done. They, they're taking him out of the big three conversation. 30% fall where I fall, and I say I commend him for uh, making the choice of apologizing to Kendrick because he took the bait. Kendrick hasn't been out in hold years. Well, I'm, okay, he decides so, to get on the record and, and hold diss hold niggas on. to get his he name up. He had to up. make noise. And J. Cole fell for the banana in the tailpipe. I'm sorry. But the whole apology to me is like, is it a industry plant type of thing or something? Because it's like you apologizing, but you know he's making another diss. Right. He going to come for you, you know again. you Drake is about to diss Kendrick. Right. So it's going to, if y'all really want to be all hip hop and rap, you got to you this what, this This what it is. That's what y'all supposed you to do. You're a lyricist. But you don't think about the repercussions. What repercussions? What repercussions? All right. So let me give y'all the scenario because I think you guys, this is no disrespect. We not rappers. Y'all not rappers. You talking about the street stuff. The street stuff. Okay, so listen. J. Cole's not street. I understand. Yeah. This is what J. Cole's... And neither is Drake. Right. No, no, listen. They're not... Drake those, this they're not those and kind then went to Philly and said he's going to pick up A.R. Ad. That That's a slap in, in, in a street nigga's face. Okay, but... but Drake is not street. Right, but, but he, Drake has to go get okay. somebody. Did right, you so not listen, hear what you... What I'm saying is this. This is the theory that I, I wrote on Facebook the other day. Kendrick Lamar is from Compton. J. Cole is from North Carolina. J. Cole is going to have to go to Cali before Kendrick has to go to Fayetteville, North Carolina. Think about that. Okay. 
Okay. He has a lot of business in California, whether he wants to go on vacation, whether he wants to go to the record labels, where he has to go do LA leakers and freestyle. I think you, t- got, you take No, it. listen. The go te- ahead. I'm going to let you listen. Go. And then I, I, I'm Kendrick go. is from a place called Compton. Even mm-hmm. though Kendrick is considered a, uh, a backpack rapper, everybody went to school with some gangsters. Right. So it could be, two or, three, it could be two or three Crips or Bloods from Compton that say, I feel like he disrespected my man, um, Kendrick. Mm-hmm. When he come to Cali, we're going to see about him. Then what? Do you feel safe as J. Cole to go to California and do business now? Yes. J. Cole rides around on a bicycle. He's not going to do that in Compton. He's not doing that in Compton. Clearly, he's going to have security. But my right. thing is, I think you're thinking deeper than, yeah, than, than the rat. Than the I just rat. think you it's have to. I think that you... Oh, what happened? Oh, I think that you have to think deeper because look at all of the deaths that we have. We have Young Dolph. Before y'all speak, let me explain. Mm-hmm. You got Young Dolph. You got uh, Fat G that just passed. You got, uh, what's the guy from Philly that got killed at Roscoe? Uh, P&B Rock. You got Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke rented a condo in the hills, which is one of the nicest areas in California. What, is, what does that have to do with rap beat? I'm going to tell the, you. Yeah. Listen, it, what I'm trying to tell you is that the of laws did, of the land. But a lot You're of them, they get New killed York. for their music listen, and dissing no, no, no. people. They got no, killed listen, for other no, no. things. Pop Smoke, listen. The, Pop Smoke, the only thing he did was share his location in California, and some gang members found yeah. it and came to kill him. He didn't diss anybody. He didn't do anything. So if Kendrick, I mean, if J. Cole is saying, going at the top rapper from L.A., that's from Compton, you don't think some people in Compton feel a way? In a sense, yeah, but I think they're trying to bring that old rap back, like Nas and Jay-Z. Right. They never... The, I don't but think, guess what? I the timing's wrong. This is the drill era. Okay, this, but they're not, not drillers. Not, but this, they're not drillers, so it's a different audience in general. But if they were and, rapping and about different. hippity hip-hop stuff, J. Cole mentioned a couple Dracos and Switches in his rhyme. Oh, my God. Kendrick did, too. Come on, when you go man. to the guns... It's no longer fun. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They not rapping to myself. I don't think Kendrick and J. Cole you can, be, is going to be like that. Like, you don't it's, think so? No. Okay, so it's you gonna think be that, lyrical. I think it's going to be lyrical. It's too uh, lyrical rappers I mean, I hope it stays thing. lyrical, but I'm, th- I'm telling you, people in J. Cole's can't And no, we're not canceling J. Cole. I don't care what y'all yeah, say. I love yeah, him. Listen, nobody people can. J. Cole's, you can't cancel him. You can't. People in J. Cole's camp told him off, off rip. This is going to change the way we do business in California. I, I promise you, that's why he decided to do a public apology. But leave it in the comments on what y'all feel about the J. Cole and Kendrick uh, situation. We're going to move on from that. Uh, me and Juicy feel like we're not canceling J. Cole. No. I don't know about Devon. No, nah, I'm not canceling J. Cole. Okay, he's still, still top three? This is my top three. Your top three a his little bit? His top three <laughs> different. We're going to get into his top three later. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so the next segment of our show is celebrities who have passed away in the last couple of months. Uh, we just got word uh, today, actually, that O.J. Simpson, the Hall of Famer Juice. football player from, I believe, the Chicago Bears, a little before my time. But, Rick, would that be correct? Chicago Bears, O.J. Simpson? What did he play on? Buffalo he Bears. He played on O.J.? He never played on Chicago? <laughs> he never no. played on... <laughs> hey, many thoughts! Well, we know he don't want to... <laughs> I, well, you, I, I didn't want to correct you huh? because... He was known for Buffalo Bills, but he never had a Chicago uniform. Somebody leave it in the comments because I could have sworn I seen it. I don't huh? know. It's probably, you know what I mean? That's before my time. But anyway, OJ has passed away. Um, how you guys feeling about that, Juice? Did you know anything about OJ other than? Yes, I do know a lot about, about him. That. I mean, RIP OJ. Okay. I don't get nice. What about you, D? It's kind of sad because right. I was. He was just on Cam and Mace podcast. I so we I just going to forget the fact that he probably killed his... <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, uh, yo. All right, Allegedly. I'm, I'm just saying. Allegedly. I said probably. Allegedly. No, no. He was he was acquitted. <laughs> all right, but still, come on. Fit. All right. right. Yeah, all right, right. but we yo, just go... But we, are you right? I, I, said, Caitlin, I didn't want to comment on it, but I'm just saying he... Yeah, Caitlyn Jenner went on record to say, good riddance. <laughs> oh, shoot. Did you see that? Like no, I heard about that oh. too. I think a lot of people had a lot of different. Everybody had a different right. reaction to it. You know, some people say karma. That's what you get. Right. Da da da. Right. Whatever. True. So I think everybody had mixed feelings about him passing away. But right. it, of course, he got football fans and people who loved right. him. So right. And he um also allegedly Caitlyn Jenner feels this way because they said that 
OJ had an affair with, with Chris Kardashian, which no. is the mom. The mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they said that. that you know. And they were saying that uh, Chloe was his daughter. She got the manlier got version built. of everybody. Yeah. Got built but uh yeah, so um also on um in other news, um another celebrity DJ has passed away from Hot 97, if I'm correct, Mr. C. Now Mr. C uh lost his life somehow. The uh the details are sketchy right now. Everybody just say he passed away at the age of 57. Um Mr. C has some um a scandal come out back in the day about a transgender, but we're gonna remember him for everything that he's done great, which is give music to the world, and he discovered Biggie Small. So rest hey, in peace hey, to Mr. C. You will be missed. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, thank you for finding Biggie Smalls. And uh make sure y'all like, share, and comment on this live. We want y'all to follow this page, show us some love. Yep. All right, cool. Another uh person that passed away was Fat G's, uh, the rapper from Philadelphia. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about this because this is already like three, four, five weeks into it. Mm -hmm. But I just remember that uh, Fat G's was actually in this studio with a good friend of mine, Johnny Mack. You remember Johnny mm -hmm. Mack? He interviewed yes. Fat G's here. Mm -hmm. Literally a week later, Fat G's passed away. Right. So Rick, Rick was one of the last people that got to see uh, Fat G's in person. So we, we definitely feel affected by his death because he's a rapper for one and we have mutual friends like Johnny Mac and at the end of the day his story was legendary uh, Meek Mills uh, signed him early on in his career when that didn't work out Uzi Vert uh, ran around and did some business with him but uh, in a nutshell Fat G's got killed because there was some craziness happening in his house like two, week, two weeks before he died his house got shot up allegedly right so one day he looked out his window, there's a car parked in front of his house. He became a little paranoid, just like we all would be. So he's looking out the window, he approached the car, and he asked the car, what are you doing here? Somebody shot my house up last, you know, a couple weeks ago. I'm just a little, you know, I'm just a little uh, paranoid right now. I don't like cars just parking in front of my house. Who are you? The guy waved him off, said, I'm on the phone with my girl, just mind your business. Fat G's came back in the house, I guess to get his gun. He's pacing. He came back outside the house looking at the car again. Car still didn't move. Make a long story short, Fat G's went up to him one last time and said, hey, man, I'm just a little paranoid. Somebody shot, shot my house up. Who are you? At that point, some dialogue exchanged. The guy pulled out a gun, emptied the clip on him. The whole thing was recorded on the, uh, what's the camera in front of your the house? Ring the ring, ring camera. camera. It got everything. The ring camera got Whoever everything. did that, he got his karma. I'm going to order the ring camera because I've been lacking. I ain't going to lie. I need that joint. Oh, I got that. And I, I got the cameras joint. to go around my house, too. Yeah. Like backyards, like right. driveway. All right. And, and, okay, so rest in peace to Fat G's. Like I told you all before, uh, I'm not going to elaborate too much on the story. It's just a real sad story. Young guy, 28 years old, very promising career. Uh, it, he had an infectious personality. Like, everywhere he went, people people loved him. So at the same time, it's just, it's just anytime I see a rapper die like that, it just breaks my heart, you know? I mean, because, you know, as a rapper, you're trying to get your dreams, a podcaster, comedian, you're trying to get your dreams off the ground, and then it's just cut short when you have so much more to give to the world. You know what I'm saying? All right, the last person that we have that died is my homeboy. He's from Trenton. His name is Enf Escobar. Everyone knows him as Howard. Uh, he was killed in Atlanta the other night. Um, at one in, one o'clock in the morning, uh, he was connected to West Side Gun, Benny the Butcher, and uh, Conway from Black Soprano family. Um, he done a lot of good business with them. Uh, rappers from all over the world respected him. Cormega from um, from Queensbridge, he threw him on his page and said, "Rest in peace." He had some stories to tell about him. So he was a good guy from Trenton that was connecting the dots of with guys like Big O. Um, I think he helped my man Don Diego out. You know, they bust a couple of moves through him as far as with music. And um, it's just a real sad story just to see the people from my city that are, you know, monumental and connecting the dots to the industry get, you know, get snuffed out and taken away. It just, it just sets the game plan, you know, uh, just further and further from our mission, which is... Thanks, big homie. Yeah, uh, for somebody right. to be successful. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, big homie from Paulsboro. Yeah, thank you. This looks professional. If you want to get your podcast, you know, uh, out there, make sure y'all hit up my man, Roderick Boyd. You know, he got us looking real wavy right here. You know what I mean? But um, at the same time, rest in peace to my man, uh, Inf Escobar. And um, I want to send uh, condolences to his family, his friends, and may Allah make his, his grave spacious. And, you know, at the end of the day, my heart goes out to him. All right, so this is the segment of the show called Getting Juicy with Jalene. We haven't done this section, this uh, this segment um, in a long time, yeah. but I wanted to bring it back because, you know, Juicy has the latest and the greatest <laughs> gossip that's going on in the world, and I'm not going to interrupt her today because everybody's yeah, right. been saying in the comments, let Juicy talk, yes. Kevin. Don't you never let me talk. People off. Right. Don't never so let me talk. I'm, I'm going to take y'all advice out there in podcast land, and I'm going to shut up <laughs> and let Juicy run, getting juicy with the lean. <laughs> Go ahead, Juicy. All right. Here we go. So the first thing I want to talk about is what are y'all take on the Meek and Diddy situation? How y'all feel about that? I think I've been talking for a while, so we want to know your take. Ah, man. From a well, first of all, let's just talk about Diddy in general. A right. hot motherfucking mess. Uh, I mean, he was he had it going on a couple of months ago when he was dating Carisha. All the girls was feeling him. He giving Not me. I still wasn't. But I mean, the allowance the was it. Like, uh, but how, how do you feel? So how do you feel about her involvement in all of this? Like people saying how she tried to recruit people. That's like, that's like. Supposedly. Yeah, like, yeah allegedly. Her allegedly. Bringing a little, her Everything bringing is allegedly. Her a little booger sugar to the party ain't that never heard Because you know, Kershawn actually made a video about how she one time tried to recruit her. And nobody mm. believed her. Right. And now this is all coming to the light. And it's right. like, oh. Well, maybe she was telling the truth. But anyway, let's go back to the Meek thing. Meek, right. I hope that's Meek. Meek. What do the ladies want to see Meek do? Meek. Because the guys are speaking out, but what if, Meek. if you heard something like this about your man, what would you want them to do? Like clear it up. How, how do you want them to clear it up? How, how, how you clear no, that up without no proof? Air how do you like, clear you, it, it up if it's if it's true? It's true. But but that's the thing, it hasn't been proven yet. Y'all heard some AI audio. I'm not jacking that AI audio. That's yeah, I don't know if I believe that. You didn't either. see how he was in you, the pool and he kept calling him I was daddy. About to say I mean, he kept you can't him control daddy. another man that? calling you daddy. What you want him to what? walk up to him and punch him in the not, face? I just would ignore Come it. Come on. You know, I would at one point I'll be like, yo, yo, Diddy, you can't call me daddy like I'm respectfully. Like, like like 50 was saying, what the fuck man. wrong with this nigga? At the yeah. end of the day, you still got to be a man. Yeah. I don't care how much money you have. <laughs> you know. I'm trying not to. I'm getting, I'm, I want y'all perspective. Uh-uh, you know, no. All. But, so, I, but no. I mean, Meek, I hope it's not true. Right. Because I don't want you to go down like that. You know, right. you're from Philly. Right. <laughs> you can't right. be like, but then you from Philly, so. Okay. So what's your take on it, D? Like, give a, give us your perspective on when know, you first I, heard I that. I can't before. really. Um, didn't surprise me. Like we always knew Diddy. knew Diddy would have crazy parties and was a little flamboyant. But but can you believe that? Me? And think about the last video he had, the act bad video. Yeah, that's Paul. I mean, I'm he was not... naked. No Diddy. Wow, you forgot about that <laughs> video when he with the. Uh, I think Carisha might Carisha have been. Carisha was in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, who was naked? Diddy, Diddy was naked where? Like he, they had him blurred out, but yeah, in the video. Out, he was, was naked in the pool while Meek was in No, there. nah, no. she <laughs> tried. She tried. Yo, That's yo. not what we talking about. It's a music about. video. It's a music, music video. video. Okay. He was, you know, intoxicated or whatever. But was he naked in the pool with Carisha? I don't I, uh, With Carisha though, right? No, he was like no. in a room or whatever. And who was in there? Just him, him and her? Yeah, yeah. for the video. For the video. For the video. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I don't think he was naked. Maybe he just had his shirt off and some boxers. All right, well, I wasn't looking that deep, but I'm right. just saying. Yeah, it was right. A I lot. didn't look that deep neither, but okay. still. But like I was saying, Diddy has been doing numerous things of having these different parties. And mm -hmm. but it's even all when the he was with J Lo, involved. think about that. J Lo left his ass. J Lo, she wasn't trying to get shot. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, J Lo left him for the, for the violence. No, she's I heard in a club it, with him. And, and she said and, in an interview, yeah. it was an interview that she okay. did, and it was more to it about okay. other things. And I right. also think Diddy is to a point. In his career, in his right. life, where he has them NDAs, where motherfuckers sign off on shit, where they can't right. say nothing. But right. how about Cassie now, supposedly working with the feds and all this inside stuff? They saying that his uh, baby mother, what's her name, that passed away? Mm -hmm. Oh, Kim. Supposedly Kim, he did that. Yeah, he supposedly right. he did that, and then it was because she was gonna write a book about all of the stuff she endured Tell while with him. 
and all of that kind of stuff. So like, well, I, I definitely. And apparently, this. her and Cassie had conversations, multiple conversations. Oh, you you right. must have forgot. What did he blow up? Supposedly, he blew up Kid, uh, Kid Cudi's car. But that, he that, did no, that's, do that. That's, that's I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't there. That I see. <laughs> but that's a, that, to, to, to me. That. To me, that's a. That, that blowing up the car is stay away from my girl because he, he got power. He got money. He got but, money. But he that's out here having he every money. man have but sex with his girl. But guess right, what? You let show me people. a man that show me a man that has a million girls. I'll show you a man that's still gonna have that gonna one go female hard for that one female. You right? I don't but care. blowing up somebody's car though. So you blowing, his, so you blowing up cars. So you blowing up cars for the girl that you love. I don't have enough money to get a car blown up. I'm just saying. So you 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 doing all of that? As soon as they blow the car, but would you do all of that over a girl? Would you do all of that over a girl? You tender. No, 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 no. I'm not. No, I'm not going to jail. Yeah, he lying. He going to jail. He going to jail. Nah, I ain't going to jail for no female. I don't have no jail record for no female. Well, I beat the you case. You ain't got no jail record at all. I'm trying to get cracked. You ain't got no case. I beat the case. I loaded it up. Let's jump right but, into the next topic. All right, let's leave right, Diddy alone. All right. Well, no, I ain't get my take. I'm gonna say it real quick. Meek, because I'm a fan of Meek Mill. I I believe this. I believe Meek may have put himself in a position where he was at a party, and it, it made some. He shit. was at multiple Listen parties. He multiple he parties, and some, some shit looked sketchy. But I don't personally believe that Meek is gay. I, I think Meek is a stand-up dude. I listen. think that, listen, early on, because everybody is using this, he wore the same outfit. But that was for a music video. Him and Puff had a banging single back in the day. Oh, and they shot that video and did, and they put the same outfits on. So everybody's saying that they were in the same outfit like they just was hanging at the park with the same outfit on. That was for a music video. So I just think that all of that slander on his name, this is the Meek smear campaign right now. I'm not jacking it. I feel like he's a stand-up artist. I don't feel like he did anything uh, sketchy with Diddy. And I'm not jacking none of that. Until I see hardcore evidence, I'm Same. never running with somebody's gay. Yeah, I'll me, say, I, I really he, hope that you didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah I'm going to say I don't think, so. I think he's I think gay either, but out. he saw some stuff. So I, does that I, make him a little No, suspect? I think that he might have been in a room like with some orgies. Like walked in a room happening. or something? Nah. It, I, I, think, I think he might have been in a room with some orgies that was going down. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Because Puff's not a stranger to that type of danger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, these guys are rich. So if if they got um, Caitlyn, you know, if they're not Caitlyn, she ain't in the room. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no ah, diddy. I was about to say, ah, like, super no diddy. No diddy. Ah. No diddy. <laughs> but I'm talking about if they got like the Kardashian women and Paris Hilton and all these crazy people in a room, it's going to be some craziness going on. You feel me? It's going to be some craziness going on. So if Meek get invited Amber to a Diddy said, party, look what Amber said. I think Meek definitely put himself in some odd situations. <laughs> I agree. No, she's saying odd, yeah, because he might have been to position. That's Meek, what we say. Yeah, Meek might have been in a said. party where it might have been. Dudes but you in telling there me y'all all drinking, y'all all getting high, everybody's doing it. He might have got comfortable and let. But you talking about a dude with nappy braids from Burke Street that dreamed about hanging with a guy like Puff? You know what I'm saying? Imagine exactly. Puff calling you, you like D. Right? Hold on, D. Pull it. up. I'm so you don't think? So, so you don't think he's not gonna do nothing so to stay in that circle? No, he's not. Nah, no, he's not. <laughs> no, he not. So, no, so are we not. forgetting in about D having sleepovers with Usher when he was 14 and Justin did you, Bieber? Did you not hear? Wait, see, did you not hear? Stop. Usher said. Usher said the only thing was in that house was a whole bunch of women. They had me sleeping with. No, did you ever hear? That's what he said. Interviews with Usher actually talking about the what you call him? He endured from the drugs to the everything. But anybody move around like Usher got some sugar in his tank anyway. His son Quincy, his stepson Quincy, his stepson Quincy even said. Quincy even said that. Y'all see the stuff he be wearing? Usher had on a dress. You see. I'm gonna send you that picture with Usher with a dress and some and some damn near pumps on. So you gonna say Young Thug is uh, uh gay? Right. Cause he wear dresses. He wear dresses. He wears skirts. Usher, I mean, Young Thug is my favorite rapper. He just showed y'all he, he wore ain't gay. A whole that don't mean nothing. Nah, it don't. It don't nah. Right. He was doing that to go viral. Man. No, oh he really was. That's he who he is. Dude. All right, listen. Come on. <laughs> Look, now he's working all the time. Now he's done. Tom, huh? <laughs> he said, I think. Yeah, and then losing him up. That's what I just said. That's what I just said. Thank you, big homie from Paulsboro. Thank you. That's what I just said. Y'all all get high. Big homie from Paulsboro, that's pure speculation. No Diddy. No Diddy. That's why this episode is called No Diddy. All right, come on. We're going to get into the next topic. Let's leave Diddy and Meek alone. Yeah, what's going on All right, so what were y'all doing when the earthquake happened? Did y'all feel it? 
I didn't feel the earthquake. My neighbor said that he was the, his bed was shaking, but I had just got out the shower. I didn't feel, I didn't see no, you know, my neighbor upstairs, he called me on the phone. Yo, did you hear that? I'm like, what happened? <laughs> It must have been like three seconds. I didn't. I ain't really feel anything. But right. I think they hit that button. You know. Ah! You know how. Conspiracy so theory. I felt it. So, so I was sitting like, on my yeah, couch. Let's, right. let's hit this button and see. Oh, New York shit. Did anybody get any uh, uh, damage, structural damage to their house? I Did think y'all the hear about people anything? up in New York got a little bit more, but right. I'm not well, sure like how. Like might have cracked. Yeah, like I don't know how much that was, but right. I know I felt it. Like in my house, I literally was looking around like, what the what the hell is going on? No pictures fell and off the wall, man. No, huh. but yeah, like that's, that's a little crazy. Yeah, and none of the pictures. Earthquake, something. My really... mom called me, and then I was like, she was like, "Did you feel that earthquake?" I said, "Oh, that's what that was." <laughs> <laughs> I just thought my little house was shaking. Right. Like, I didn't know what was going on. But yeah, so uh, yeah. I mean, it was like I seen a lot of people talking about it, and you the, know that damn eclipse thing, and you know, it's just yeah, some they weird talking stuff about it. Was, the man. earthquake was four eight. The eclipse was what? It's four eight, right? That's when they, or know. something like that. Yeah, that's the day like that, that yeah. they came for a. So everybody got all these conspiracy, conspiracy theories right. and all that. But yeah, we're not gonna get into all of that. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got going on? To get uh, the originally? city girls are feuding on Twitter due to JT saying Young Miami. Young Miami does not get her get, get her, her back. back when the fans and celebs come for her online. Okay. All right. So, what do you? All right. Once again, this is the I, city I think, girls. What do you think about them? They've been they've been going back and forth with each other since JT came home from jail. It's been a love so, and hate relationship. From my understanding, right. it's it, it all started from when she started messing with Diddy. Right. Is when all the real beef started, and it was more of JT didn't condone of a lot of things that was going on. Yeah, I, I think maybe because Diddy was having babies on her. He was kind of yeah, playing so, at her and face. she was like, yo, you look dumb. Like, he got right. you out here looking like but this. But she, she said like, she went whatever. Right. Well, I mean, he was paying, though. He was paying 250 a week. Or no, a month it was or well, like it was that. more than that. Know. And everybody it, started talking shit when he lowered it to 250 And she got her own show. Right. right. She got, of him, so she got stuff to, and she got an award for right. it. Right. She's been winning so, every year, and they said Puff messed up the paperwork. But, no, he because you know, he was on, he's on like the board or something like that. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, not no more. Yeah, he done up. But right. um, so that beef though, to me, I don't care about it. Uh, you don't care about I, that. I don't Not care to... about. The All right, well, look, well, don't, juicy. I want to talk about uh, the. I hope uh, what's they called the city girls. City girls. Y'all work it out. Um, last time I seen, I think just with the mess on the breakfast show, she said that they told each other after they argued on Twitter. Call me, girl. I love you. So you know how y'all girls yeah. doing something. No, I don't know. Kobe, how y'all how worked it out. Could be but everything. I think Kobe's they're gonna steady. work it out. I just think Let's you know music. the internet and right. the outside noise is what really keeps them beefing. Like right. you know what I mean? Because people put yeah, stories. Yeah, they like say they, they this, try to like, say that JT Music was what you call them towards Young Miami. Right. It, it was wasn't, she was dissing her. Yeah. But she wasn't. Right. So like I said, the outside noise is the reason why everything keep going. <clears throat> but Glorilla did hit JT in the face with her pocketbook, so but that's a whole other story. <laughs> oh I my see God, that. Glorilla! They, they, they got smoke. They got real smoke. They definitely got real they got smoke. smoke. <laughs> that's another episode. We'll talk about that later. What else we got? Um. All right. So lastly, we're gonna talk about the E. e I don't yeah, want to say e, it wrong. E, the got E it. got shot up in Philly. Right. Um. And Sorry. over a hundred, a thousand people were there to celebrate the end of right. Ramadan. Right. And it was kids there. It that was. Is, uh, it was, and people came out and was shooting. Like, how do you feel about that? Being as though you are Muslim and being yeah. in the, I mean, it terrified me that's because supposed to be a, I wanted to go to the celebration. It's supposed, and it's supposed to be a safe place yeah, for you guys I to celebrate. It and I ended up at Applebee's yesterday because I'm I was not going to Philly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, went, I went to Applebee's Why you ain't come out celebrate. to where they was doing stuff out and, you know, I just, you know there. what it was? What I said to post? myself, this, and this is, once I seen that, I said, okay. You know how, like, you get the school shootings, mm -hmm. then you get the copycats. That yeah, everybody, yeah. I was like, you know what? Pub, maybe this public thing ain't for me this this month. This year. This year. I said, you know, once they did that in Philly, and then I know usually it's at like a three-day celebration. So I was just like, man, I'm going to just keep it low. It's really man. sad, though. Like, I just low. seen, like, I think I think four people got yeah. arrested for that. Yeah. Well, no, I heard they found the guns, but they don't, I don't know if they got anybody in custody. If anybody know about the E celebration yes. yesterday that happened in Philly, if they, you know, caught those guys or got the weapons off the street, Let us know. leave it in the comments. Know. Um, you know, we don't really have too much information. You know, one of my friends from Philly sent it to me yesterday. 
And it was just devastating. Some just of the see. kids that I, I work with right. was there, and they was like, Miss V, you won't believe what happened. Right. And, you know, they was all scared and traumatized. Right. You know, it's messed right. up that they got to be put in situations like right. that. Right. Like, the person that did that got to understand all the trauma that they cause into these kids. Right. They don't care, Certain people, like, mm-hmm. just PTSD and things. Right. Seeing all that. This generation, though, they don't think about. Yeah. They don't. They don't, they don't, they don't care. care. All right. So, listen, man, uh, on, on another note. Um, we almost out of here. Uh, I got an email from a guy named Henry Moore. Now, this is where I go into Luther Vandross. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I, I, I usually be silly on here, and, but I got to get serious because the Better Not Live podcast is not just about music and, and gossip. We also try to help somebody out of our episodes. So, um, Henry Moore, he's a guy from Coatesville, Pennsylvania. He said, he said, Graham, when you go on your show... I'm, going, I'm in a real dark space in my life right now. I want to see if you can give me some relationship advice. I don't know why he chose me, but hopefully Juicy and Devon can help uh, you know, cultivate <laughs> I, I something. I'll, I'll be able to help. Cultivate something. I'm no so relationship we can, expert. Yeah, but. so we can, yeah, we, we, the things that we tell you to try on here is at your own risk. At <laughs> your own risk. Don't. You know what I mean? But, so Henry wants to know, he said, uh, he said a few months ago, his ex dumped him and blocked him on all social media. You know what they say when you get blocked. He said he became needy and tried to contact her by any means necessary. So I don't know if that's email, Snapchat. It is. He, he threw the book at her. He the text now. That's what it is. He got Anything. a Google he threw, number. He threw the book at her. <laughs> she told, he said that she told him it was over and, his, and it was best for him to move on and not focus on her. He said after three weeks, she reached out to his sister to find out how he was doing. And magically, uh, to make a long story short, she visited him and things seemed normal. But two days later, she was gone and unreachable again and blocked him. So, Juicy, only a woman would know. <laughs> from a like, woman's perspective. From a woman's perspective, perspective, you dumped a man, told him to kick rocks, it's over. But then you came back three weeks later through she his sister. Some. And then once you saw him, you, you decided to... You know, just ghost them and block them again. Like, is that a normal thing women do? They say disappear, ghost you, come back. I'm not gonna say it's yeah. a normal thing, but okay. obviously she wanted to get something out of that situation. She got it, and then she was done. So you think that she just wanted some action? Like, yeah, she didn't want. She probably still genuinely doesn't want to be with him for whatever reasons. They're not together, and right. she just was like, you know what? I'm bored, and I want. Let me see. So, so that's the thing. Girls will hit you up if they don't want to be with you. They'll just hit you up for the D. And get I also D. think she don't want to get another body on her. Right. It's a lot. It got to do okay. with a lot of, I don't want to catch another body. I don't want to, you know, okay. come out. So why not go with somebody I'm comfortable with? But right. then you don't want to give him the expectations of, oh, you won't see me more. No, it's just on my time how I want it. She want to control the situation. Okay. D, what's your take? He should have just, once he ghosted her and blocked no, no, her, blo- go, once he got, he got blocked and everything, yeah. just move on. Just move on. Because he now he's it. he's creating more trauma to himself and more. What if he she had the good snatch, though, man? Don't matter. That's what Because it, it, ma- it makes it, it make it worse in a sense. I know, but listen. Because now he, you tell oh, him I'm me. I'm on email. I'm on Dave, this. Dave, I'm on that. I know you got a girl, but this is what I'm saying. You telling me. Good pussy Gabrielle calling you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen. Hey, listen. Hold yeah. on, hold on. Listen, hold Wait, on. But listen, hold on. Did we ever think about... We talking about, about GPG now. Okay. GPG. Uh-huh. She blocked you and said kick rocks. Now, you already then sat in the house listening to Rick James, fired the <laughs> and drunk, drunk 40s and St. Eyes trying to get over the shit. Your sister say, GPG called me. You like this. Good pussy Gabrielle called you? Yeah. <laughs> Good pussy Gabrielle called you. She want to see you. She said she's going to swing by today. She's about to pass over. But are we not thinking about her possibly hitting no, no, in a new listen, relationship? I'm going to tell yeah, you. He, he didn't put that in the perspective. She okay, could so be she could have been in he, doesn't, three, he just did three weeks of torture. This girl, he can't reach her. You know what I mean? This was his name. Sometimes lady. that's the best thing. Though. I understand that. I'm asking you from a man's perspective. If your sister says she's on the phone, she's on her way, are you saying tell her kick rocks don't even come? I'm about to, I'm about to mess you up. I just, that's I'm about to mess you up. So, yeah. all right, she has good good pussy like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if GPG. my mom says she's not good, it's a dub. Your heart says that? Yep. If my mom yeah. says a girl is not No, not, not your good, mom. You no, I just tell her. No, as far as like her spirit and being right. around like, oh, she got this. She hit her my sister. But if my mom, we have a conversation because through that process, right. my mama's boy. I'm going to speak with my mom. So you're going to go to your mom and say GPG trying to come back. 
I'll be like, Ma, what, what should I do? What should I do? Out. What crazy. should I do? You getting kicked out. This nigga said he called his mom. Hey, mom, GPG trying to come back. Leave her alone. So you're not going to think about just having sex like, okay, let's just... I'm going to just bust her oh, down one you? time, show her what she missing, and yeah. send her on her way, or nah, none of that. So Because I'm of kind of a lover to... boy. Because if I bust okay. it down, then it's going to be like, damn, I now want she, the, yeah, yeah. I want uh, it again, yeah. and then it's and then you can't, okay. Now I'm okay. mentally fucked up. Okay. So you ain't trying to make yourself dope He's not even trying. Hell no. That... Uh-uh. When you go through a he breakup. Gonna, he gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. He, he gonna, gonna do it. We he know gonna he gonna do it. He gonna do it. Ring. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be like, first ring. Oh, hey, babe. What's up, sis? <laughs> you trying to come back? You come home? You come GPG home? GPG outside? <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming downstairs. Let me get my tuxedo. <laughs> I'm coming outside suited <laughs> and booted. This is crazy. Where you been at, baby? And now, listen. now, listen, now you done fell in love all over so again. Because the shit is still huh? so good. It's going to be the same pattern. Because the shit is still so all good. Right, cool. And then right. you going to, and then be right back at square one. You're going to be yeah, right GPG, there listening to that song. Well, whoever you are, you're the devil. <laughs> You need to stop hurting people's feelings like that. Men have feelings too. Oh my God. GPG. All right, so listen, Henry, this is, all, all jokes aside, Devon gave you some good advice. It's sad that I, I won't take this advice. <laughs> I just, you know, GPG call. You it's just certain people that advice. can call that phone and be like, you be like, or this. just look at it like, is it uh, worth it? You never did that before? Like a never. joke? Never. <laughs> Is it Look, worth be like, I'm going to jump back in that shit. I don't care what you talking about. Look. BBG called me. I'm like this. Listen. How you told me like that? <laughs> <laughs> she got to an answer about but five questions it, before so we get is it, it on. All right. So in reality, so is it just, okay, you going to entertain it to see what happened? Why did she block you? Yes, Not necessarily yes. just for the sex. Like, do you want to see genuinely you what? You want closure? And that's, what, no, no. I'm going to tell you. That's a good question. Sometimes it's good. Because, listen, I was reading a book, and they say women are like cats. If you think about a cat, right, if you chase a cat, what does it do? It runs. It runs, right? But if you ignore a cat, it'll come in your lap and purr. <laughs> yeah, that's it. What? Yeah, that's it. No. <laughs> Hold up. No. Listen. So you think. Listen. Well, listen he said she, Let me he, finish. she ghosted him again. Okay, so she After came she got what back she because you know why she's ghosting him? He said in here, I was needy. Needy means this. You coming to see me today? No, I ain't coming. Why? Needy. So that's a so man, you, know, you should I have just... things to do. Go to the gym. Call D. I should call Devon up. Yo, D, let's go get a drink. Let's go play the game. Let's go play basketball. Have things to do. Make yourself, you know, make yourself seem like when your girl call you, that you ain't you dropping everything stuff. for her. Right. A lot of guys, did you so see how I many niggas drop things for you? Oh, I love it. You see that? <laughs> and she love it. You can be like this. Juicy call the nigga like this. I'm what? hungry. Hello. What you want? Where you at? <laughs> I'm with Chris and them. I'm with John and them. Can you come? Oh, on? you really over there? That's what you gonna do? All right. Do you, boo boo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right outside. I'm, going home. I'm right outside. Do you, boo boo? I wanted to see you tonight, but you wanna hang with your boys? <laughs> but you gay? Now yeah, you like this. Why do y'all automatically I'm go to the... I'm gay because I'm with my mans in them. When you chill with a lot but listen, like... Hold on. Let me cut you off. Let Let's me cut you off. Let, let, yeah, like thank that. you. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come guys, back again. When right. guys chill a lot with their guy friends, right. the first thing a female assumes, oh, y'all gay for chilling so much. Why are you spending so much time with that nigga? I don't Facts. think that I've Why ever you, uh, felt uh, that way. Like, if you chilling with your boys, right. it be certain boys that we don't want you around that we feel like the that players, about. The players. The players. Yeah. So get all the girls. So my yeah. thing is, so if a guy is clearly dating you, he can't have single friends. Absolutely, just like I got single. She got friends. single girlfriends. But, to have her but out men, a lot of men also feel uncomfortable when you have a a single friend that always wants you to go outside and yo, let's go because yeah. she, she doing single your nigga, shit uh -huh. yep. and yes, you bro. know you there. So you gotta think about it from uh -huh. both perspectives. And, and guess what? That single friend always got a friend that like you. <laughs> yes, that's that so bullshit right you there. You have. Check you that. gotta be honest with yourself. Yeah, like, okay, so I know when I'm hanging with my single friend, she don't give a fuck about my nigga. I do interviews real, when they real. friends come over. I be like this. You got a mess? Especially <laughs> if they don't. <laughs> well, you work at Hooters. <laughs> that bitch can't fuck with you. So, you got kids? How many? Four? But that's, Where they baby dads? That's a little controlling. Jail? Baby. Baby. She don't meet the criteria. <laughs> <laughs> she can't mess with you. But, so I've had that yeah. where like people don't like my friend because right. she's always outside. Right. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm not like when I go outside, I'm very cool. like. I don't know why they hate me. I know she is cool. See, but I'm shout very out to like, that cool friend that be with you. See, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> no face, no case. <laughs> go ahead. But um. You know, so they always made it a big thing, like, oh, you out with her, so you probably doing single shit. Now, right. when I go out, everybody know I'm mean. I'm, yeah. you know. Right, you know, yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. Uh, whatever, right. I don't entertain everybody. Mm-hmm. I don't even dance. Right. My friend, she's the twerker. She's okay. the, you know, I get lit. I'm going, she going to bring people. You just film. So gonna, you, you yeah. just yeah. film. Just, you the girl in the like, section. Hey, yeah, get she film. No, she film it. She yeah, film I'm like, get it, friend. Get, get it, girl. girl. She the hype man. I'm the hype man. Yeah. So, you know, but. They say you are who you hang around. That's a fact. That is a Fendi. Because they guess say what? Birds, what is it? Birds, birds of a feather, feather flock, flock together. together. And the one, I'm going to tell you what's good about a friend that's always outside. When your relationship go bad, I was about to say that. they can build Every you up. Every time that I've been in a space where I up. wasn't okay, mm-hmm. yeah. my friend came through for me. Right. That's dope. That's dope. Go but out. listen, we're we going to go back to Henry. So basically, <laughs> the, take Devon's <laughs> advice. Devon said this. He yeah. said, blocker. Don't let her come back and, you know. Let it go. Let it go. Let, let it go. go because there's always go. guys like me out and there. And if your mom don't approve, really let her go. Yes, it does. <laughs> if mommy don't like her, let her go. That's, That's not true. My mom my mom uh, hated on a couple great ones. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. And where they at? Where them great ones? The, the ones you thought was great, lie. where Listen, they at? I'm a, I'm gonna I'm a go on record to say this. My b- my baby mom is great. She's a good woman. Okay. Give okay. me three kids. Shout out. My mom, mom never hated on her though. But in, in the beginning, you know how you, you going through, you you through it with your you going through it with your because your mom on your side. She had court with me. I had my suit on, all the out mom right there like this. Boy, I'm tired of coming to this courthouse. I know mom, but you know I'm joking. But but my baby mom is a good woman. I can say that on record though. On that. Shout out to baby mom. Yeah, but um, on the flip side, Henry. You know, I'm not just Henry, all of us. I joke up, joke up here because I don't want to make everything so serious, serious, but Devon gave some good advice. Yes. When somebody is coming in and out of your life and they just want to see if they can get you and, and sometimes throw you away and get you. just wanting to know that I still have that right. access to you. I want to yeah. know that you're still going to drop everything for me right. when I call you. But that's sad because you It is very you sad, think but that a lot that, of men do that. Men yeah, do that a yeah. lot. And, 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 I'm going to keep it real. Women. I used to be like that until it started getting uh, More than women. Know. Until it got done to me. want to make sure that they still have full access to you. That's not so, true. So, yes, they do. They go both ways. Yeah, it can. Yeah. It can. But I'm saying men do it a lot. Right. All right. So, listen, Henry, you know, you heard three perspectives. You heard the lady. And, she, and listen when they talk. She says she just wanted some. So sometimes you got to be a little sturdy out there, bro. Oh, you got you got to be a little sturdy out there, bro. And just you know, if, if it's about a, if it's about just her monkey branching to you to to be able to do do your thing, keep it player. Sometimes you know what I mean. When he's you, not you know, a player, even though. huh? I don't think he. Sometimes, a well, sometimes right. he, the tender dude he, got to turn to a like savage. Like no, I, I'm a savage. He ain't no fucking I'm a savage. savage. He be lying up All there, right. tenderoni. Okay. All right. All right, do your homework. Anyway, cool. All right, so Henry, that's for you. Okay, all right. So, all right, so here's a more um serious topic. We won't spend too much time on it because we, we spoke about it off camera. But um a lot of blogs out there like Say Cheese, Vlad TV, um, name some of the top blogs out there that you ever heard of. Um, I can't think of it off top, but it's World just Star? The, the, huh? World, World Star. World Star used to be like that. But YouTube influencers are allowing people to come on their podcast, you know, IG Live, you know, the studio, wherever they are allowing these guests to say very harsh things to people on their platform. Are YouTube influencers responsible for the things that people say on their platform? Um, I, I well, y'all already know how I feel. I think right. should be, they should be able to say what they want to. Again, it's all about views and getting seen and right. stuff like that. But you have no control over what somebody says. You don't know what they're right. going to say when you ask a certain question. That's so you don't know what to expect. That's true. You can somehow correct it or kind of like, you know, work your way around what right. they said, but you have no control over what somebody says on your podcast. What about you? Dude? Just don't. Some podcasts do have some control as far as like the, he said, filtering stuff out. Like, yo, I ain't like how you said that. And they could edit something out. Yeah, they can right. edit it out in the long but, run. In the long run, it's not going to be as raw. But it's real. exactly. So you want so, raw. You want people to. Oh, I don't go for raw. I don't go for. I always told you, me and you, we haven't went viral yet. 
because I'm not chasing a viral moment. I'm gonna tell you why. It's because, not about chasing a viral moment, but again, that's yeah. what these pocket uh-huh. a lot of these people are in it for. They want the views, right. they want to get the seen, they bait. want but they, they want, yeah, they want things... people to come to their page. Right. No, and the only that. way you're gonna do that is if somebody do some off the wall yeah. shit. That's true. But guess what? Now you become part of the problem. And what we're but speaking on... am I on, really the problem? I listen, mean, depending on the kind of questions you ask right. and you looking for somebody mm-hmm. to say some shit, right. that's different. But if you just genuinely having a conversation, yeah, like, no, okay, I'm, not talking about I'm just saying this, then yeah. a third, I ask you this, and then you say, oh, whatever right. you say. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't know he was going to say that, but again. Right. Because I may not know how much beef you got with somebody, but I'm right. like, ask question like, so what's the issue here or whatever? And then and he then goes they left. Just go, and he go left. Right. Do you still put it out? The clip? I would. Okay. But all right. So what I'm speaking on is Charleston White, who is uh, mm-hmm. one of the he's known for a lot of drama on uh, all over the internet. You know, him and Gilly the Kid had some back and forth, and Charleston White Gilly called him goofy, allegedly called him a rat, and he returned with, uh, "That's why your son died." Right? Which that's I feel wild. like now is, that is totally crazy. That is totally that's uncalled for. I feel as though I'm him. deleting that. Yeah, so that's in white. Because that's crazy. I, I'm going to say this. Karma is a B. And, and, and you got to understand, there's power in the tongue. Yep. What you speak can come to fruition. So, you, you know, you putting down Gilly's situation and laughing at his, yeah, that's you know, laughing okay. at his kid being, you know, deceased, you know, you're not going to get any good luck for you. I, see, that's a moment where I don't want to go viral off that clip. Yeah, absolutely not. Because not only that, Gilly's a friend of mine. I've right. done business with Gilly. I know him personally. So I couldn't have Charleston White here, and he say that on my platform, and I put it out. I'm just as guilty as Charles at that point. But are you that's going how I feel. To, but, but are you going to tell Gilly he said it? Like, would you tell someone, like, oh, he was on my show, he said that? Or would you just keep that to yourself and never I, I would probably, never I would probably tell Rick. I was like, Rick, edit that out. But if Charleston said it here, I'm sure he said it yeah, somewhere, somewhere else. else. Right. And I would just take it to the grave because I don't want to ever... Because just say I go tell Gilly and Gilly say, yo, but I'm going to have three okay, goons so, go so, kill so, now, now I'm part okay, of that. Okay, so now let's you know just say you say you ain't going to say nothing about it. Now let's just say he do go on somebody else's show right. and he say it. And they be like, I said it on you better not lie already, but you know what I mean? It ain't come out because like, Kilogram yeah. edited it. Now, then, But now let's just yeah. say... Gilly, that's your friend. You say that's your friend. Now he come to you like, bro, right. why you ain't never tell me you said And I'm going to tell him, I'm just like, Gil, I ain't never bring that shit up because at the end of the day, I, you know, as a Muslim, you know, I, I don't add fuel to the fire. You know what I'm saying? This brother said it. Oh, I corrected it. That's a way it. out of it. No, I'm, I'm being for real. This brother said it. I corrected it and never saw the day of light. So my thing is, I'm going to keep him shining as another mm-hmm. Muslim. I'm not going to come and add darkness and then leave. Right. Yeah. Yeah, son, now son. It's like, yeah. see you later. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. When you do that to somebody, it's like, bro, why you ain't punch on him? Yeah, men? but that that was crazy, and you know I, I, mean? I I definitely would have edited right. that out because you. That's where I draw the line when right. it comes to like, you can't do that. Right. Like, so, all I'm saying in a nutshell is, YouTubers, podcasters, you know, rappers, singers, comedians, just be mindful when you talk about people. They're human, and the universe will bring you guys full circle. You know what Mama I mean? I'm going to get you, baby. And then one day when you face to face and just say he see Gilly and Gilly got 400 fully guys with big beards with him, then that's a bad situation. Such a stereotype. All something that could have been big avoided. Beards. Could have been avoided. So uh, to me, like I told you, the message you, I want... Go ahead. Do you know the extent of the beef? Like, do you know if it's, Gilly it's ever really, said some off the wall stuff? To him? No. Not making Gilly it okay didn't. that uh-uh. he said no, that. No. He's never but, said anything about his wife or his children. See... When we deal with, as men, we deal with each other. That's always been the rule. Women and kids are always, always off limits. limits. Yes. That's just the gentleman code, the street code. When when guys violate that, it shows their character. Right. You it know shows, what I mean? Yeah, exactly like, they are. Man, you can get into it, but it'll never be a mom joke, yeah. a sister yeah. joke, a baby mom it was, joke. Because it was definitely a what? better way to express the beef. Yeah, you could have yeah, no said like anything that. to him. Mm-hmm. But you see, the thing about him, see, see the Charleston dude, he Click only me. cares about going viral. Click me. He's, he knows he's going to make money off saying the craziest stuff. He figured out the algorithm. Right. The problem is, think about it. We don't have to subscribe to it, though. But people be on there, oh, he keep it real. But nah, people going to repost it, and people are going to do stuff like right. that. Just And that's going to get him the, 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 the views it. and right. the things Gilly that he is react. looking for anyway. And then you're going to get Gilly to react. And Gilly's going to say something. And then right. it's going to go, and it's going to keep on, it's going to give him the uh, what he's looking for. That's right. what I'm saying by. I'm going to skip number six. We talked about it. Yeah. All right. All right. So 
Another relationship question, but this is coming from a female, so Juicy's going to take this. We had two relationship questions this this uh, this week, so Juicy, take this one over and um, please give the guys some real insight because you be joking a lot. Like, give them some real insight. This is a serious topic, and and I know if we don't answer it, well, she gonna be like, y'all, y'all was playing. Y'all, ain't re- I don't really know what. Listen, to do. we are not relationship experts. All right, can okay. I help you? We're going to do our bestest, but... <laughs> all, right. all right. Simone from Linda Wall X, how do you deal with a man who is experiencing ED in your relationship? Okay, so for anybody who don't know, because I didn't know what ED meant with right. initials because, you know, I'm a grown-up. I use real words. Right. Um, is <laughs> me... <laughs> is me, you know, it just... Whoop, erectile whoop, dysfunction. Whoop. I guess Simone is dealing with a man with erectile dysfunction, right? right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So she's been with her kid's father for six years, and they they have a great sex life. But for the last year, he has struggled. Simone is now frustrated, feels guilty about wanting to end things with him. So I guess we're supposed to tell her how to not just leave her man and give up? I mean, Ooh, I just yo, want you yo, to you? No, no, I you. ain't got nothing to say. No, I'm saying if y'all ex- was in that situation, how would you want your... I mean, if no. she tried everything, you got to try everything in the book, right? Okay. You got to go to the doctor. Okay, we got to go to the doctor see if I... Right. Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> you got to try it all. So, if they try everything in the book, right, and she's saying that their sex life... Is, is their sex life trash? Like, does he... Is he not good at anything I think she else? said they had a great sex life. Right, but is it only years. because the, it's good? Or is... You know, we didn't even need more information, I feel like. But, again, I don't think that she should just especially because they got time in and kids, I think it should be something that they should try to figure out together and come to a solution on what exactly to do. But I I know. Don't just go out and cheat, sis. (laughs) Don't do what Juicy said she (laughs) would do. (laughs) Don't go cheating, sis. Nigga nigga can't even have a noodle for a couple of months. His girl already talking about fucking thundercock chat. (laughs) (laughs) God damn. Because, you know... no, that's a that's a big deal, especially when you right. have an amazing sex life, and then now you don't have one yeah. at all. Yeah, but, I'm, but what do you think about it, D? I'll let you. But again, it's other things that he so, could do. So is he not good uh, at those things? Yeah, he, I mean, head ain't gonna just be no, enough. See? We can you can use my toys yeah, too. Yeah, incorporate the toys. Well, you, know you know ain't say that. You ain't even you get can, that option can, earlier. <laughs> Because I only right read the first to... sentence. What? I said, oh, cheat. You know, cheat. He said, he got ED, cheat. <laughs> or, no, I was I'm joking. Like, I was joking. Or we could just be a little more romantic. Bro, yeah. Little things. It like... could be It could be the woman. Maybe she's just not treating him like the way he needs so to be So now you blame him Simone. No, I'm just saying it could be her. It so could now be Simone. you blame Simone. I'm just saying it could be Simone. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it. You ever talk to your nigga crazy around the house? Yes. That might affect him. I'm just keeping it's it real. Not to that extent. I've not to that extent I've where, seen, no, where I've you seen, not going to want you. Okay, so if a nigga talk to you crazy around the house, you want to fuck him? <laughs> That's my point. If he calling you bitches and whores, No, you if ain't he calling me bitches and whores, but if we have a regular j- device that we regularly what I, what have, I'm, I'm saying, still going to sit on no, it. No, yeah, right, regular fights. But I'm talking about just say if y'all having arguments to the point where you calling out his name. He calling you out your name, or he just. But she didn't say that that was the situation. No, I'm just telling you that I'm flipping the situation to show you that, like, when I just said to you, if you're not treating him well, he may not be able to do what he needs to do. And you said, they ain't got nothing to do with it. But when he treating you wrong, well, are you still eager to go and have sex? I mean, if it's not me, then who? So yeah, he still gets some from me. But that's just me, the type of woman I am. So you never, you never I'm made a nigga. Turn- you I'm never turned your no. back in a nigga. I'm sleep. never saying no. You never. Uh, I'm never saying no to my saying, man. That's nice. Man. Okay. No matter what y'all going through. No matter what we going through. I'm sure some niggas got some blue balls dealing with you. Nah, I asked him. Hold on, you want to make some phone calls? You want to make some phone calls? He's like, yo, never one say night. no because if if it's not I had from her, you, I had the panties all the way down her leg and she. This some tight vice grip. If he's not cheating on me and doing no weird <laughs> shit like that, we, we we're still, in there fighting. I don't over. care how mad I am at you. You still right. All right, that's dope. So, D, what you think about that, man? What's your take? What's your take on that? Like, for one, have you ever? No, you're a young man. Oh, <laughs> you probably never been. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, no, hey, yo, no. I say you're a young man. 
saying. You was listening good. I'm good, to, at, I'm good at that department, so. I'm just saying, this happens to, this usually happens to probably, you know, men in their 40s and 50s and stuff like that. It's happened to young men, too. All these drugs that they do. Oh, yeah, have. sure. That could be, they, the, that could be they, an they, issue, they too. Could and then she didn't the specify right. whether he on pills. Exactly. Yeah, she left. Hot perks. Right. Like. I feel as though it, the relationship just can't be about sex. Because she said, great sex life. Right. What about... What about everything else? That's all. Sex is fifty percent of the relationship. Saying. For real? Yeah. 50. You think so? It's high on the on the I fucking think, total. I think sex is I fifty. Think, high. I think, I think like it might it be is, sixty. I don't know. Because you can think about a woman head. can have a nigga that put the D down crazy, right? But he play PlayStation and he do you know, unemployment, and she will leave. A nigga but who how paid long? all but the you know, bills a lot of times it with takes the lint joint. She would leave that nigga to go for a nigga who putting that D on her and playing PlayStation, and she let him drive the car. This is this is this is the American way. This is what's going on out here. Definitely. Look at Fortune 500 women that work in these high. Uh, you, a lot of times you look at the niggas they dealing with, the construction workers and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Dealing with regular niggas. They don't want them corporate niggas in the office. You know why? Niggas ain't thugging it. They be at Diddy parties. Could be that. <laughs> but I'm just saying. It's, so Simone, we 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 gelling a little bit, but at the end of the day, like Juicy said, work, come up with some Hit. some strategies, do some toys, go and get the roles, let them get the roles. Have them hard conversations or what do we do right. if it's just broken? Go to the doctors together right, too. Try to see if it's changes diet. Uh also too, I researched this question when you sent it to me. There's three things you men can eat out there that will help you with erection. What's that? You that Peanuts, watermelon, bananas. Those three things are really good for blood flow to the prostate area, which will send- Turn into a health problem. Which will- <laughs> yes. Listen, he tried I got, Listen, he tried Simone, Simone, when she sent this email, go I, I took peanuts, it serious. Go to Walmart or I'm Target. telling you, y'all brothers, stop taking them honey packs. That shit is facade. Eat that you some is. watermelon. Get some peanuts, and also I'm gonna throw a new one in there: pumpkin seeds, peanuts. So I got right, four things right, for y'all: pumpkin, pumpkin seeds, pumpkin watermelon, seeds. peanuts, that? and and uh, and I said, like I said, watermelon. No, bananas. Those four things right there. She love you long time. Trust me. Trust me. Try that. Add that to your diet. Hit me up in two weeks. Simone, let me, me know if it worked, please. Show me. Has that been? Has that helped you last longer? Uh, have Paul's no ditty. Long, he harder been, he erections. He off the wall today. You know what I mean? Race. I'm trying to help y'all out. He been I mean, off the like wall I told you, today. you better not lie. We not here just to joke. We here to get some game. We're going to give you the game in a form of comedy and, and funniness. But at the same time, those four things, if you're struggling, see y'all running out there getting the blue chews, the hems, all that shit. At the end of the day, get those four things. I guarantee your sex life be better. All right, cool. So listen, that is the end of the show right Woo-hoo! there. I got I need you, bro. A hoodie, Kev. Make sure sh- I got the bread. Make sure I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna put the cash app in the uh, in the link and make sure you know you support. You know, let me know. Let me know your size and, and, and uh, inbox me your address. But like I told you, this is episode 103. Woo-hoo! No Diddy with Juicy Jelaine. Hey. Um, make sure you uh, give us a follow and set. Uh, I'm going to set the notification bell for when we go live. And, you know, that way y'all support and make sure y'all follow You Better Not Live podcast. Go, if yeah. you know some rappers, singers, entrepreneurs that want to come on a podcast, make sure they know that they got to do the business. This is, <laughs> this is, you see, this stuff don't run for free. Okay. And at the end of the day, if y'all want to come on the show, hit your boy up, hit Juicy up. If you see Devon on IG, he tell him, say, yo, I'm, Devon, I'm trying to get on the show. I'll add Graham, Juice, back whatever we gotta do. All right, cool. Like That's I told you, real. once again, rest in peace to my man, Inf Escobar. We love you, man. We out, man. <laughs>